sure that you, you, you know ultimately I wanted to come away with the win it would be nice to run a bit a bit faster but it was all about getting the win today and I did that so did you know how close she was yeah I, I could see see her on the screens and I just knew keep a little bit there um so I was tired down the race but I knew if she came up I'd, I'd have a bit to accelerate so but yeah it's got to a point where I knew a really fast time was gone so it was just trying you know take off the, the laps as consistently as possible yeah what was the decision to do a 3k before Wanamaker next week, as opposed to uh, dropping down and running something quicker. Um, I don't know if it's just where I am in, in training, you know, it was my, my size for what races I do, but um, I know I've come off the endurance block quite well, and I think it's easier to drop down than to go up. So, um, yeah, I'm happier that we'll be running a more more short distance uh, next weekend rather than going up, but it was, yeah, it's a good place, good place to start. Do you kind of have a sweet spot of like, once I have two races under my belt, I feel like myself, or can you come out the gate? You usually know, I can come out, yeah, usually I can come out the gate pretty good. Yeah, I know I'm in a good spot training wise. I think, you know, we only just got to America on, on Thursday, so the point is a little bit tired and a little bit jet lagged still, but but even still, you know, that was, was a good performance. And I'll be here in the States a little bit longer now until Melrose next weekend, so hopefully feel a little bit more in the routine and the sleep pattern and things. But um, yeah, it's that first one of the season, but usually I can have a pretty solid first run out and that, that was pr pretty good you know 840 so yeah was that weather a bit of a shock coming off the plane <laughs> yeah there's not very many places colder than glasgow but that that was colder than glasgow so yeah tro glasgow's in tropical compared to, <laughs> compared to boston yeah where will you be the next week before the race uh, we're actually popping down to miami um, yeah, we thought avoid the cold, get some good training in ahead of uh, New York, so just pop down, train there, and pop back up again. So, yeah. Do you do one real workout in a week between two big races, or have you got like a full week of training? Well, a full week of training, yeah. I, this past, like, to be honest, like three months has been pretty hard, not sort of tapered at all. We got full, that's why we came Thursday, so we get all the training in this week. Did three really hard sessions this week, um, on Saturday, Monday, Wednesday, so training's at full whack right now. So to run 8 4 off, you know, just popping in and off a hard week training. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. But yeah, we'll be training, training hard next week as well. You know, that's what we do at this time of year. You know, it's winter training. So, but yeah, it's nice to be able to still run fast off that. Yeah. Any big goals next weekend? Uh, win again, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, I know it's it's a really prestigious event. I was kind of like with that, you know, I'd run for that once before. I really wanted to win it and I'm so glad I did last year. This is my first appearance at Melrose, but I hope I can, I can get the win first time round. Tick that box straight away, that'd be really, really nice. Thank you. What's kind of your mindset as you go through indoors? You run indoors really consistently year after year. What's kind of your mindset as you approach the season? I think it's just really nice to see where you're at in the winter, uh, break winter up a little bit. Um, you know, it's a long way to the summer season, and I love racing, and that's why I train is to race. So that's the fun bit. So it's nice to kind of break up winter a bit, yeah. Yeah, do you feel like the indoors always helps you as you go into the outdoor season? Yeah, I think it kind of keeps that kind of competitive spirit uh, alive as it were throughout the winter and do see a little bit of a bench where, where you need to be and if you're in good spot great if you're not then you know you've got a bit of work to do so it's yeah it's just a really good sort of tester for where you're at yeah. and do you like kind of mixing up the events between the 3k of course next week you'll do the mile um, and then of course outdoors you have the 15 and all, all the different events yeah yeah i love running different events you know i I'm doing the K in Birmingham as well. Yeah, I run 800s a lot. Hope we do some 5Ks this year too. So I really like it. It, it makes picking an event difficult for champs, um, you know, in terms of what to do. But at the same time, it's, it's nice to have those options and it's nice to be able to do different races. I hate just to run the same distance all throughout the year. I find that a bit boring. I think I like to do different events. So it's nice, yeah. And I don't want to rush you, but Safana San is running the marathon in London. I'm curious if you ever see yourself kind of dipping into the rows and up to the marathon one day. Um, no, <laughs> that is a, not the marathon. No, I would do a marathon for fun. Like I think it's a really iconic event and something that you know, it's a huge achievement for anybody to run a marathon, let alone someone that's involved in flex. So I'd love to run it for fun one day, but I wouldn't wouldn't do it competitively. No, that's no. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thanks so much for a great job. Cheers. Thanks.